People in Jefferson County are wondering who could do such a horrible thing. Tonight, police are looking for the person who threw a dog out of a moving car. Happened while that vehicle was headed down I-76 just before Sheridan Boulevard yesterday. Our Jacqueline Quinn on the scene right now. Jacqueline, sadly, the dog has died. Yeah, it didn't make it, but this dog was thrown to its death on I-76 near Sheridan, where we are right now. There was a witness, but that person really didn't provide enough information to the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. That's why they're asking people now to help them with this investigation. It's one of the most cruel dog abuse cases CBS4 has covered in recent months. From what I understand from our witness is that um, they saw the dog hanging out of the window. A witness says a small miniature poodle was allegedly flung from a car near I-76 in Sheridan on Tuesday. They say the car looked like a black Lexus. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office tell us it happened close to 1.45 p.m. Our veterinarian team quickly jumped into action and they were ready to um, intake that animal and see what kind of injuries we were, we were talking about. Um, unfortunately, these injuries were very, very severe. The poor poodle named Teddy didn't make it despite the efforts of the workers at Foothills Animal Shelter trying to save its life. Staff tell us this is a rare case, but abused animals are brought in all the time. Cases like these that are so severe, they're quite costly to a shelter like us. Um, and so any donation that has been made to help with this specific case will actually be transferred into our animal relief fund. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is working on the case. Teddy might have been stolen. So if this was in fact an intentional and not a negligent act, it would be considered aggravated cruelty to animals, which in Colorado is a class six felony punishable by 12 to 18 months in jail. And up to $100,000 in fines. Now you can see here during this time around two, it was really busy. So the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says maybe there were more witnesses and they hope people do come forward. In Westminster, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado first.